Welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Goal! Uh, I did it, I guess. With a name that simple, there's only one game that springs to mind. Soccer! We may have looked at a ton of football games over the years on Game Boy Roulette, but honestly, in terms of sports genre, I think soccer comes second. FIFA Road to World Cup, Nintendo World Cup, FIFA International, Soccer Mania. This is going to be our fifth soccer game. And funnily enough, we're in an even split of quality. The two World Cup games were both pretty good, while Soccer Mania was pretty bad, and FIFA International ranks high on the list of worst Game Boy Roulette games. So it's up to Goal to break the tie and determine once and for all if Game Boy Soccer games are good. Well, until the next Game Boy Soccer game comes up, that is. Goal actually has some interesting story behind it. In the late 80s, game developer Dino Dini created the Kickoff series, a game that received very high marks when it was first released for various UK computer systems. As the series expanded and they were working on Kickoff 3, Dino left the development company Enco and instead started working for Virgin Games, which is where he created Goal, featuring very similar gameplay to the Kickoff series, but under a new name. And while the Goal games didn't do as well as the original Kickoff games, they still got pretty solid reviews all around as they hit consoles like the Game Boy, Amiga, Mega Drive, and SNES. It's kind of interesting to see a sports game that has such an interesting history. Usually it's just EA made another one. I do not wish to sound rude, but this guy looks like the biggest dork in the history of Game Boy box art. This might be the biggest, greatest soccer player in history, but he looks like they just grabbed Steve from accounting and put him in very, very short pants. It's another trip to the soccer green. Ball in play for goal. Goal! Wow, we're just getting right into it. Push start button, okay. That's either a soccer player or a UFO. Super Cup. Oh, there's a penalty kick mode. Let's do Super Cup. Uh, goalie, let's have that be auto. Oh, interesting. I'm betting this is isometric. Let's see how right I am. New game. I shall be, uh, Uruguay. I do not know what these mean. Hey, there's stats. Well, that's pretty neat. Uruguay versus Canada. Aw, oh, dang it. That means they're gonna kick off. Wait, I, um... Alright, first thing that needs to be done... Whoa! Is how figure out how well the game actually controls. And so far, it's already better than both of the two bad games. Boot. I like the, uh, overhead shot. That's clever. Okay, so... Hey! Hey, 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 hey stop it. Stop it! So the problem is I'm having trouble having the ball long enough to actually do anything. He definitely just drop kicked me. Can I? Whoa! Oh god! I, I think that guy's dead over there. It's funny, I'm definitely having some trouble figuring out the controls, but I'm enjoying this more than the bad two games. I just would like to get some actual control over the game, please. Oh my god, I cannot get myself the ball. Okay, B is for a short pass. I had the ball for a full nanosecond there, cool. Uh. Oh my god, I cannot get a hold of the ball at all. Okay, there we go. Okay, so B is just a straight pass whatever direction you are facing. A is a big distance pass. Got it! Okay. That took one possession for me to figure out, which again puts it above like 90% of sports games on the Game Boy. Oh, you got yellow carded, son! You are in so much trouble. Now, how do I tackle? No! Crowd noise. Ooh! Good animation. And good music, too. I'm. Even with the control difficulties, I'm, I'm having fun here. They kept it excessively simple, and I mean that in the most positive way possible. Whoa. No, 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 no. The difficulty is a bit high. I can't help but feel like I'm being clowned. And look at the... They move so much quicker than us. Did I just pick a bad team and Canada are the soccer gods? And it looks like I just automatically control... 
whoever uh, is the nearest to the ball. M my, okay, I genuinely think I picked a bad team. Hang on, I'm gonna try Exhibition as a different team to see if I can get a handle on this a little better. Don't mind that goal. This time, oh! I picked Canada and it automatically put me against Uruguay. That worked out well. It's, it's happening again. I haven't figured out how to sl hang on. I'm gonna see if I can find a guide on how to slide. Apparently it's just A. Also, it does, the guide does point out that the CPU is pretty difficult in the game. So that is something to keep in mind. But still, even with the difficulty, the fact that I can control the game, the fact that I seem to know what I'm doing pretty quickly. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. Okay, maybe I didn't pick a bad team. Maybe I'm just bad at the game. Yeah, Uruguay, yellow card. How dare you? I, I do wish the game was a little less, uh, difficult. I do wish it was a bit more forgiving. Why did I pass it that way? There's nothing there. But this game does have some things I've always wanted in these games. Like music during the actual gameplay. And sounds that actually sound like the thing they're supposed to be. I do not think we have gotten it on the other half of the field, though. And that is kind of a big problem. Oh my god, we did it. Okay, the trick is to kick a lot. Wait, why did I do that? Everything's terrible. Everything's fine. Everything's terrible. Everything's fine. <laughs> the thing about these games is that if they're really difficult, at the very least, they have to be entertaining enough that I want to keep playing to get better at it. And you know what? This game does kind of hit that. I do think it could probably have stood to be a little, a little less difficult. Red card, get the hell off my, uh, field, is it? It's just called a soccer field, right? Soccer pitch? Soccer? I, I don't know anything about soccer. And this tips the Game Boy Soccer scale into the positive once again. I was very happy that this game skewed into the good territory, because like I said, half the Game Boy Soccer games we've played have been really, really bad. Well, it did have one big flaw, but it's the kind of flaw that I think it overcame, which we'll get to in a bit. You can tell this game was made by someone who knew exactly how to make a fun soccer game while also keeping it accessible, because the gameplay was very simple with only a few button presses to accomplish everything. But there was still a nice depth to the game as well, with lots of teams and stats for each player to let you customize. And there were a bunch of smaller details too, like switching around your team when someone gets red carded, and actual music during gameplay, something I've been begging these Game Boy Sports games to have. But even with all those positives, we do have to address the big issue, the difficulty. I spent most of the gameplay frantically defending my own goal, and the other team's AI just seemed to be a heck of a lot stronger than in other games I've played. But, well, to me, there are two types of video game difficulty, the kind that makes you stop playing, and the kind that makes you want to get better at the game. And this game fell into the second category, because the actual gameplay was simple and intuitive enough that I felt like with enough practice, I could get better and start doing well. Uh, that said, I could see the high difficulty turning people off, and that's reasonable. But even with that difficulty, I still recommend Goal. It's definitely one of the better sports games we've looked at. As long as you can deal with the high challenge, there's a lot of soccer fun to be had. And hey, the kickoff series is still going, and it's doing, uh, great. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.